Hi everybody, this is Debbie. Boy, it's been a, a while since I've been under the camera lens. Can, camera lens obviously is straight above me. Um, yeah, my bright light overhead um, died and it took a few days to before my husband could make it to the hardware store and buy a new one and get it wired in, but hey, let there be light. Okay. I've just previewed this on Instagram. It is my second in my two uh, double-sided, you know, two designs, one on each side. And I really, really like this one. I just was just uh, chomping at the bits to try another one. So last night I sat down and it's only three bars wide which you know it's really hard to make a new three bar design let alone two on one and one bracelet but I think I did it um it's I think it's no I don't know um I see most of the posts on Instagram but to tell you the truth as y'all know with my um limited uh, energy with chronic fatigue syndrome caused by Lyme um I really, I feel bad, but I rarely watch tutorials. I just don't have the energy. I don't have the time um, because of that, because it takes me three times as long to do everything. So I really apologize. Um, I wish I could because seeing other people's, what they do inspires, you know, the creative process gets the juices flowing. But anyways, let me stop rambling. Um, when I started out, this was my first try at it. I mean, I like this side, but as you can see, I... I did extra black bands and I just thought it was too much. And look how thick it is compared to this. And, you know, this I've done this design a hundred times and other people have used it too. So I thought, okay, I'll do it this way. But again, it's still too thick. And I tried it with less black bands and I like that. So my third attempt is this and this. So third time's a charm. It might have been the fourth, but we'll just say three. So, this is how it works. For reference, the A color bands are the border, which are the pink. I am going to be using these lovely um, double layer, the, oh, is this, I think it's Arctic Blue. I love these bands. I love their thickness. I love their elasticity. I just love them. They're just a little hard sometimes because they, will twist and you know if you get a solid color twisting you don't notice it so much but when you see this one twist yeah anyways I'm gonna do that for the border that's color A the black is color B and I'm going to be using red yes catching the theme here and then the third color which is the neon green going up the center I am going to use glow in the dark white And you go to the other side. There's going to be two more colors. Color D is the yellow. And that color peeks through, so you want to take that take that into consideration. You can't really see the other color, other colors, but you definitely see the yellow peeking through, so you might want to, you know, can take that into consideration. So for the yellow, I am going to be using this lovely shade of green from the Camouflage Pink Mix. Oh, I love this color so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love them all. And where I use Glow in the Dark White, where you can see it in little piece, little spots, I am going to try these um, blah, 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 pastel mix, the um, salmon, peach, the orangey color in the pastel mix. So five colors. So we will start by well, the first thing we should do so we don't forget is go all the way to the last pin which will be this one and take two of your D colored which is the yellow on this what I call the back side because I do this side first and just place them there that way we won't forget to place them okay no worries I'll show you why that makes sense later on. 
It really, really does. I promise you it does. I tell no lies. Okay, and so now we're going to start just doing your basic border. I put two down here for, you know, where that's what the clip goes on to, just easier for me. And you are going to place the bands. I need to go slower with these double sided so that they're not twisted. So you're, it, yeah, this thing wants to go like that off the edge. And push them down because we will have a lot of bands being double sided. And I've, I'm finding that um, these two sided designs, because they're obviously going to be thicker, um, it's a great way to use the opaque bands. You know, I think they've been a little neglected with all these awesome new bands that have come out in the past months. So, if you don't know what to do with your opaque, opaque bands, or for those of you who cannot buy online and only have access to opaque bands or jelly bands, um, this is a perfect design. Oh my, reverb. My speakers. Okay, so, you know, it's going to take me a while to do this because I'm going to do it slowly and make sure they're all nice and even and push down all the way. So you're going to go all the way up and then, you know, finish the last ones like this and like this. But if you're, oops, <laughs> you're gonna, you know, go all the way up, then here, all the way up, and then here. All right? And when I'm done, I'll be back to show you. Do you have any, guys, have any of you have problems like this where it's just, it's so loose? Um, I bet you, I, my silicone earplugs, I bet you if I popped a little silicone, that might hold them tight. Because that's kind of scary because it really makes it want to pop off. Anyhow. Be back. So it's the basic um, border, and you know, finishing them up at the last, you know, center pin. Um, when I first started making other people's designs and learning how to loom, I kept seeing this, and I really, after a while, I thought doing it this way was boring. And I think um, I was trying different things, so the border didn't look like just like this all the time. Um, and I remember Jay's, hey Jay's, I, you're probably too busy to ever watch this, but I love you, friend. And um, he said that he could always tell my designs because they looked different. And I hope that has inspired you guys to also look f you know, for different ways to see what's on the loom. But anyways, I'm going back to the basics as far as the border um, goes, although it does not look the same on this side. Okay, next step. Take your B color, which is the black, and we're going to go up the loom, making a V shape. Oh, I think this is going to look so snappy. Red, white, and blue. So, very redundant. So, I'm going to go off camera again. Alright, so we're just up. You know, I might as well tell you. Um, after you do all this, okay, after you do all of these, do them all the way up to this one here, okay. Okay, so you're going to go, okay, up to these. Then you might as well take your third color, which is the green here, and glow in the dark here, and then place this on the top all the way to here, okay? So I will come back after I've placed the green and the glow in the dark bands. This is the first stage of band placement. And that's how the end of your loom looks. So for convenience sake, I'm turning it around now and I will be double capping. Do I need to do that? Yeah, I can do it now. But you, those, these caps really don't come into play, but just to get it out of the way. 
So. Oh yeah, I do need them. I'm sorry. I was thinking of another design. Ah! Okay. First, we are just going to quickly take our center bands that are on top and just go straight up the loom and loop them all. Oops. I was watch I was actually watching um, someone's tutorials, a few of their tutorials the other day. I want to say it was expert looms, but whoever it was, man, her hands fly. <laughs> she must be young. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I'm ultra slow, but I'm certainly not that quick. So, this is boring, but it's almost done. I'll probably go off camera after I show you how to loop the red ones, since there's twice as many, and... I mean, how long do you want to watch somebody do the same thing over and over again? Especially when it's such a basic um, technique. I'm running out of space. Okay. Just one more. I like the glow in the darks even better than the whites because um, they just have a more robust consistency. Okay. Now, all the way up, you're just going to loop them out to their home pin. Nothing fancy. Clumsiness. Actually, I just had a cup of coffee and I've got a little bit of the jitters. I don't know why coffee gives me the jitters, but it does. Probably why I don't drink it much. And then, of course, you, you'll definitely want to push these down nice and snug. So you're just going to do that all the way up. And I'll be back to show you the magic of double sided designs. It's not magic, it's just doing two designs on. At one time. Be back. I think most of you found that fairly simple, I hope. Now, very, 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 very important. Turn the loom back around so the arrows are going this way because we are going to place more bands. And if you don't, <laughs> you'll have a lot of bands to pick off and, and re you know, place again. Let's hold on a second. One of these got twisted and I don't like it. Okay. Now we are going to take our color D, which is the yellow here. And we are going to start at the first pin and just go straight up. Nothing complicated here. Actually, I don't think any of the, any of this is complicated. Well, I do a little something at the end. You remember those two D-colored bands that I had you place on the last pin, the very first step. This is where they come into play. It just makes it easier. I realize that you know I first tried this. You know I had I'd have to pull everything off of that last pin so I could put the bands down there so that you know they were secure they were underneath the cap so that they had an anchor by which to be looped so it's like ha ah, light bulb moment place those bands first so then all you have to do is reach under and grab them and I will show you right now okay this will be the last band because you already have one under there so go in Find that one that's on the bottom. And if you have trouble, I love my little toothpick. It helps. 
coax it out. And place it like that. See? Very, very simple. Okay. I hope I showed that on camera. Oh my goodness. Well, if you missed that. <laughs> um, I just reached underneath and grabbed the bottom band and looped around this last pin. It's such a tiny little screen. <laughs> okay. Now. You are going to make place a second row of colored D bands at the butt. This time you're going to start at the second pin because when you're finished it, um, having two pins here just is unnecessary thickness. So we're going to start at not here. No, no, no. Yes. Okay, start right here. And just go all the way up, push them down as you go. Sometimes I go cross side when I do these double layers like this. It's important, kind of look on the side so you make sure that you place two on each one, not three, or accidentally skip one. Ew, that's way too thin. Bad band. Okay, and I will look up and make sure that I am in the center of the screen when I pull out that last D band on that final pin. So that, oop, another thin one. Oh, I hope I have enough. I think I do. I'll have to turn off the camera and go get more. I forgot these. Ooh, that one's kind of thin too. I'm not liking that. That one is a little bit thin, not as bad. Okay. Juice gonna make it? Am I gonna make it? Oops. I think I am. Where was I? <laughs> Right here. Okay. So you're going to once again reach under, grab this, being a stinker, just find a way. Hold on. Put it like that, okay? Now what do I do? Okay. So that's two layers of color D. I'm trying to think, what did I do? I, I forgot. I forgot to put my E bands. Let me see how did those go. I'm pretty sure. Okay. I forgot to write them down. Darn it. But I'm like 99% sure <laughs> this is what I did last night. <laughs> oh. Okay. We are going to make little arrows all the way up. Now I know it probably looks like, ah, clashing, but you really don't see the, um, peach and the, the red together. So I'm going to go off camera and finish doing this all the way up to here. The, this will be your last set. Okay. Bye bye. Here is the loom fully loaded. No more bands will be placed. So we turn it around. And we are going to loop these two. 
a colored bands out to their ah. now go slow because this is a little um, strange sequence of oh no, no 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 get back in there hold on a second I accidentally grabbed one of the green bands So we've got that out of the way. So this is going to be the sequence, okay? Reach under. Grab the top decolored band. Bring it up here. Grab the other one and bring it here. Then you come out and do a border band on each side. Then once you have that done, you're going to reach in here. See this right here? This, the e-colored band, you're going to pull it and just bring it up like this on either side. Okay. And that's the sequence. I mean, those first two bands, but it's, um, just be careful. Take your time to make sure you get the top one. Bring it here. Bring it here. Bring the next border band up. And then the third band, bring it to the center to, of the next pin, not its home pin. Bring it to the center pin, one above its home pin. And that's what you're going to do all the way up. I'll do it a couple more times. I guess it isn't really that hard, is it? It's pretty simple. Top band, one direction. And the bottom band the other direction. Bring up one border band on each side. And then take the E colored band up to the next pin. Okay. One more. Pull the pin the yeah, pull the bands back, grab that one on the top, and then the other one's the only one left. It's pretty, actually this is pretty easy, isn't it? What was I thinking? Oh, it's actually muggy out. We don't use that word out here in California. How do you think most people that are from California and have not traveled too much. They probably don't even know what the word muggy means. <laughs> okay, is that enough? Uh, I'll do it one more time, just to make sure. I want to go off camera and turn on my fan, which is kind of noisy. When I'm filming, I've had some people complain about it, but that's all I have to cool me off. Alrighty, so we're going to do that all the way up to here. And if you're not quite sure how to finish it off, just wait, at, you know, right here, and I will demonstrate how to. Um, do the last, the last bands. Have fun. As I promised, I would show you how to finish the end of the bracelet. So I'm going to bring my last double set of green bands. 
bring this side up. Bring this side up. Bring your final two E bands. Oh, by the way, for those of you who may not know what the word muggy means, it means humid. <laughs> um, yeah, it's humid today. Which is good because in Southern California, or California in general, we have such a horrible drought going on. We need every drop of moisture we can possibly get. Okay, so we did our last complete series here. Now we only have to take this up and bring these last two closers to the center pin. All right. Now, where's my clip? Okay. So, time to finish it off. Make sure I get both of them. All right. Camera. It's on all the way. Boy, doesn't that, as my aunt would say, frost me <laughs> when she gets upset about something. If um, I've worked on six pin design, six bar wide designs, extended length, and get to the end and miss clipping this, and then I pull it off the loom and this slips out and all falls apart. Yikes! Okay. So. We are going to pull it off the loom as quickly as we can. And see if my color sequence, because I did not do a little one of those little pieces of it to see if they would work good together. It's completely by faith. to get this tutorial finished. Okay, hopefully we didn't miss any. Alrighty. If you do have some popping through, just, just work them. Okay, so here we have Side A, Ooh, stick it out. We don't want to really see any of the um. Then here's this side. So I might have chosen. Now that I think about it, uh, something that worked better with the red, but it's still cool. I think. We'll live and learn. This side, you know, it all goes together. The red doesn't quite work with these two colors, but that's okay. And if you get one of these little guys, you try to do that. Flip them back the way they're supposed to be. You just kind of flip, flick, flick, flick. All right, there you have it. Two-faced. This is one of its faces, and here's its other face. I really hope you enjoyed this, and I hope I've um, brought you something a little new with these two-sided, uh, two designs in one bracelet. It's been fun for me, and a challenge to try to come up with something that works on both sides. And thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Deb's Thing if you want to see more of my tutorials, be alerted. And of course, check me out on Instagram at Deb's Thing. And if you want to follow me, that's fine. I will not complain. <laughs> Bye. Have a nice evening.